This is a tutorial for creating your own earring card on Canva. To start, click create a design at the top right, select custom size and put in your measurements. For earring cards, I usually use two by three and a half inches. From here, we can create our card. I usually start with selecting a background. You can use the background tab on the left and search through these for one that fits your vibe. And from there, you can play with the transparency of the image so that it doesn't overpower your jewelry when it's on the actual card. Another option for backgrounds is to search in the Elements tab, and after searching and selecting a graphic that you like, you can right-click and set it as your background. And I'm going to play around with the transparency of this graphic just to lighten it up a little bit. From here, we can add some cute graphics to our card by using the search bar or the suggested graphics. I like flowers, so I'll search for them and I'll pick one that I like. Once you do find one that you like, you can adjust the size and position of the graphic by selecting the circle on the corner of the square that the graphic is in. Canva also suggests graphics and pictures based on what you've already selected or chosen or use. Here I am just adjusting the graphic to my liking. That way I can still add some text to my jewelry later. And as you can see, I'm going to layer some different graphics onto each other. That way I can get a little bit more of a detailed design. And to move the graphics um, from back or in front of another one, you just right click and select move back or move forward. One of my favorite tools on Canva is the background remover tool. You can use this on photos that you find on Canva or ones that you upload yourself. To use it, select your photo and click edit image at the top left and select background remover. Once the background is removed, you can use the photo element in any way you'd like the same way that we were changing the size and position of the graphics. Another great tool that Canva has is the undo and redo buttons that allow you to change or fix any mistakes that you made easily. The edit tab allows you to do much more than just remove the background. You can also apply filters and much more here.
To add text to your card, select text on the left and add your text box. From here, you can input your business name and increase the size and change the font. Changing the color is easy as well, and if you click the A up at the top to change the font color, a lot of times Canva will also use some of the colors you already have in your design as an option for your text. Here I am just adjusting some of the graphics to accommodate the wording that I added. There's plenty of effects to use on your text as well with the effects button in the top middle section. Once you've got your card done with your business name or logo where you'd like it, you can download your design to your computer. Now that everything's perfect, we hit share, download, and then I usually save it as a PDF onto my computer and then you can print your designs out onto cardstock for your own personal use. And one last minute trick is also, if you wanna design more than one card at a time, you can hit the add page under your design or if you hit the two squares with the plus on top of your design, it will duplicate that design for you and you can make changes that way.